Uh, hello, guys. Let me present uh, interactive simulation of um, HTX 3.0 new user interface concept. Uh, once you download the files, put it in the uh, scripts tools folder and you will see um, new script HTX 3.0 UI. Okay, so this is only for TX 16S uh, and this type of uh, radio. Okay, as I wrote, uh, the there were a few ideas behind this concept. The first was to focus on data uh, because you know um, the system is used more only for configuration and we use it uh, like that on the bench uh, or just to have um, minor tweaks um, being in the field. But being in the field, the most important thing is data. And we use widgets, uh, we use um, applications when we fly. So as you can see, it's very minimalistic. Uh, as you can see here, it's called system bar. But I've coded when you long press, you can uh, mob, uh, MDL, you can hide it. And so all you can see is just the empty desktop main screen, as we call it in HTX project. Of course, you can uh, go to another one. This is a very free uh, design of new widgets. Maybe they will look like that, maybe not. But you can see there are trims and um, potentiometers and 6P, uh, 6P switch, some graphics, things like that. So this is kind of layout uh, of another layout with different widgets, uh, another layout, next screen. And uh, maybe you want to have application like my toolbox or Yapu telemetry. Um, so you can navigate as always between those desktops, main screens, uh, using um, page next and page previous, but also uh, it might be good to have still this uh, swiping method, like you know, uh, swipe between screens. Okay, so that's it, and so let's go to the system bar. So everything, uh, every kind of data you need, you can uh, visualize uh, using widgets. It can be uh, RC link status, it can be data, it can be timer, whatever you want. But still, a uh, system should have kind of taskbar, system bar. So if you have just very, you know, if you have, for example, application, let's scroll to the output telemetry, and you quickly want to check this status. So uh, long press and we are bringing uh, status back. So this is to be agreed what is here. I just put the, the data, the data, uh, sorry, date and time. And here is the important thing. This is the current uh, screen. So if I scroll, you can see uh, which main screen is displayed. Currently in 2.9 we have nine of them. Uh, I think there should be a RC link status, like uh, if, 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 if we have a RC link, a strength, and of course volume uh, and radio battery, voltage, and maybe logging, maybe GPS. You may ask, where is the system? Of course, most obvious thing is the sys key. So when you press sys, what I called main menu is visible. This will be a core asset of, uh, of navigation. I mean, you can do whatever you want uh, in terms of navigation from here, right? So opening is through the sys and, and it's toggle when I, when I press sys again, it will pop up. Okay. So as you can see, there are, um, there are bigger icons, which serves as a group icons. 
So I've selected five main, uh, I think, most important areas. Uh, we would like to group the features. Uh, so first of all is radio setup. Second is model setup. And uh, this is models library. We call it models manager now, when you can select model, rename model, things like that. Applications like ELRS script, PBS agent light, this will go to uh, application folder. And the last but not least, monitors. Uh, how to navigate? Using keyboard, it's very easy. Uh, you just select the group. You when you press enter, um, uh, you will be uh, able to select feature page. And um, when you press exit, we will go back to uh, group selection. And then again, model setup, for example, I want to uh, select inputs. Uh, let me go to inputs for a while, okay? This is feature page, new feature page, all right. Uh, let me close it, okay, once again. Says, and so navigation is very simple. Uh, things is that those three clicks, so, um, so of course it's not with the keyboard, but uh, one is sys, the second one is selecting your group, okay, radio, and the last one is going to, let's say, train it. Three clicks, and you are wherever you want in a navigation tree. Um, all right. And last but not least, uh, using uh, touch UI potential. I use the most well-known, <laughs> we use it from the mobile phones, uh, swipe. So if you swipe from the very top, very top of the screen, this main menu will show up, okay? You can close it uh, like that. I don't know if I've coded swipe up. Let me check. No, swipe up. It, it might be coded that closing is also by uh, swiping up. But so far, uh, you have to press uh, the just just this close button, okay? So this is even more efficient because when I when I will bring this menu and I will select monitor one click, second click, we are monitoring logical switches very quick and efficient. And this menu will stay wherever we are in the uh, operating system. I mean, I can do something. Uh, like checking those monitors, and then, oh, I need to go to inputs. All right, so let's go to monitor inputs. And I'm in inputs. All right, I need to check, for example, some uh, channel, um, channel monitoring. All right, so uh, channel monitoring will be over there as we are in the channel monitor. And basically, uh, this is how the main menu works. So it's designed to fit both horizontal and vertical. Uh, we can stretch it in horizontal a little bit to accommodate more icons, while in vertical, uh, we can stretch vertically. And uh, icons are nice, but you, uh, you usually want to see uh, what is behind the icon. So as you can see, wherever I highlight the icon, there is a breadcrumb, kind of breadcrumb description over there. So this is radio setup, and now we are selecting sub item. This is Lua, this is not C++, so be patient. Sometimes it doesn't work like, uh, like that, but um, this is just to visualize concept. All right, so let's go to... Uh, feature page and feature page, which is the core asset for, for uh, configuring. Everything is on the fe on feature pages. Um, let's go to, for example, mixer. Um, so uh, the top bar was redesigned a little bit. There is a well visible close button on the right. So, you know, there is no hesitation how to close um how to close it okay mixer once again and um 
the on the top bar you can see breadcrumb uh, of course if you bring the system money it will just uh, be lower to to show both but the main important thing of course this is just a screenshot you cannot scroll it you cannot scroll this uh, because this is just you know simulator so we want to add the input so usually there was an UI element somewhere and you had to scroll. So this icon now shows that we are on the page inputs and you can see this small icon triangle, which means there is a contextual menu. And if you press it, there will be a menu with options that are general to the page, like uh, adding item or uh, for example, in outputs, we have a function like uh, add all trims to subtrims. So this menu is intended to hold the all the functions that are general to inputs or whatever we, uh, we uh, are now configuring. All right, that's it. Have a test right. Just uh, I recommend to um to use the radio because this is physical device so you can test you know the swiping and how it how it uh, f um, works and is it efficient and give some constructive feedback thank you